Gang, gang, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marley. If you are new, and if not, don't come for me <laughs> again. <laughs> I say that every time. I know, I know. I'm finally introducing the Dark Renaissance collection palette, glitters, lipsticks. It's a whole mood, it's a whole era, it's a whole uh, Renaissance. Hello. Um, so, this collection actually launched a month and a half ago, and I was burnt out clearly um so i took a break and now i'm back so let's just act like this collection just launched today yes Woo! Yeah. so as i throw up some collection images i just want to say that like this era is like everything to me i feel like if it's so, it's so obvious if you know me and you follow me you know that like i live for the renaissance era from the architecture to the poetry to the style the aesthetics like i love it all like i live for like that victorian uh european roman i live for it all so let's just go ahead and dive right in to this motherfucking collection bitch let's start off with the palette because she is the star of the show ah, that's me <laughs> i have been using this bad bitch of a palette every single day every single day for the past really since i got the sample made like three months ago so oh i just love it this is a highlight and contour eye and face palette whatever you want to use this palette for it's got you whether it's a simple eye look heavy contour light contour beginner intermediate um, makeup enthusiast makeup artist professional makeup artist you will find your shade or shades in here i wanted to capture the true essence of the renaissance era but most importantly make universal shades for everyone let me repeat that because i know that sounds too good to be true and i really feel like these brands be playing in our faces like listen up black people we don't care we don't care so <laughs> i'm gonna edit that out i'm not saying that that's why i moved to fucking hollywood they don't let us into hot topic they don't even <laughs> i'm gonna shake the room what was i talking about the palette okay yes i wanted to capture the true essence of this palette like who do i think i am the packaging my graphic design artist shout out to brie everyone just let's just have a moment for brie because she put up with all my i swear there's like four pages of just notes like i I know I gave her a headache. Shout out to her. I'm going to give you a raise, I swear. I literally cannot thank her enough for just bringing my vision to life. I wanted to tell a story. I wanted to bring horror to the Renaissance era. And we managed to pull it off. And I'm just so, like, I'm so excited. I knew right off the bat that I wanted to cosplay the Mona Lisa way before I even decided to put myself on the cover. And then I said, okay, if I'm going to do this, I've got to I've got to be my 100% true so i've got to do the tattoos i gotta have my tits out like i've gotta have like the long nails the veil gotta be decked out and gothed out and glammed out so so i'm fully gonna nerd out with you guys once i open her up we're gonna i'm gonna swatch all the colors and tell you the story behind all the colors like i'm such a nerd for like you know details the mona lisa is the most famous most expensive most mysterious because nobody knows like who is this bitch where did she come from she was painted by the creative genius leonardo dicaprio leonardo dicaprio oh bitch you smoke too much weed she was painted by the creative genius leonardo da vinci and just the way she just had a chokehold on the renaissance era i was like okay like she's i've got a you know i've got to cosplay this bitch and put her on the cover and not only did i ha do i have me on the cover but i have Raphael on the cover i'll zoom in the image here Y'all know I love my baby. He fits the Renaissance era so well. When I started my research on like the Mona Lisa, I realized that a lot of painters have this like Madonna with child. And I was just like, who is Madonna? Like what, like what is going on? Not knowing that that was the Virgin Mary in Jesus. So this is really two cosplayers in one. Yes, I am also, this is so narcissistic when I like explain it, it's so funny. Um, but I'm not narcissistic. I'm just, you know, me. This is not only the Mona Lisa, it's also Madonna with child. 
You can also tell that this is a sister palette to the Seven Deadly Sins. I really wanted to keep the same elements of the two palettes, so yeah. I always said that the Seven Deadly Sins was like a VHS, a movie, so I wanted to make a literal book. So let's open her the fuck up. <laughs> open the fuck up so when you get your palette it's gonna come all wrapped up so let's open oh sorry you guys sorry my ring light is like she's bright as fuck stop running damn y'all are so fucking bad what was it let's open her up yes so here she is 16 big ass fucking shades of contour and highlight and you could use as blush and just we're gonna we're we're gonna get into it and then i also put this big ass mirror inside so you know i'm a portrait and you're a portrait we're all portrait girls yay i always like to flip it back like this anytime i'm like using it or if you're like a makeup artist and you're on set you can always like flip it back but i just love like it just has a big ass mirror where you can see like everything like we love to see it um and i think that big pans are gonna be like my thing going forward um i always hit pan on my favorite shades like i can show you guys like i'm always hitting a pan on a black i'm always hitting pan on like you know my go-to shades so i really wanted to um keep that tradition of big pans so you guys you know are getting your money's worth you know we're not a we're not, you know, ooh, I was about to, <laughs> about to be real messy. Okay, so we'll start off with the first row. This is the highlight row um, where we have Marble, David, Madonna, and Picasso. So Marble is a stone cold white shade. Marble was used to carve out, you know, like the sculptures and shit. We knew that. We Y'all knew that. Okay, and then David is a light bone shade. I hope you guys can see. What if I, yeah. So David is a light bone shade and David is one of the most famous sculptures like in the history to date. It was like the first sculpture of like the anatomy of a man, you know what I mean? Because you know like back then we were, you know back then they were just starting to like figure shit out. So like it was like the first sculpture of like hey you know this is a man and his penis was out and you know shit like that and people were like oh my god a penis. So you know it was. It was, it was a moment. And then for the third shade, we have Madonna. This is like my go-to shade to like lighten up my under eye. I'll give you guys like so many fucking tutorials using this palette. And it's a medium light shade and I never fucking knew that Madonna was a name for the Virgin Mary. Like I did, where have I been? Like I feel like an idiot. And then we have Picasso. Picasso is not a part of the Renaissance era, but he was the most influential artist of the 20th century. So, you know, gotta, Gotta give props to Picasso. And Picasso is a medium neutral matte. So this is the top row. I'll even swatch them. I don't know if you guys can see, my lighting is terrible. All the swatches are on the website too, if you guys wanna take a look. If you guys wanna take a look and see it on different skin tones, I have them swatched up um, right here and you can go to the website. So now for the second row, which is the most colorful row. And you can use this as, you know, a pop of color or blush or just anything artistic that you want to use it for. Um, I will say I do use this row a lot. First up, we have Daddy Vinci. I used it today. And Daddy Vinci is a bright mustard yellow. It's clearly a play on words for Leonardo da Vinci. And not only did he paint the Mona Lisa, but he did the Last Supper, the Vitruvian Man. Dude had hits bangers if you will okay and not only was he a visual artist but he was a scientist an architect a poet like if y'all look up some leonardo da vinci poetry like this man oh he was just that's why i called him daddy He's, he was like the sugar daddy of the renaissance next up we have florence which is a toasted orange matte shade florence is the capital of italy it's a beautiful city i haven't been there but when i was growing up my dad used to talk about um just how beautiful it was because he grew up there and it's also home to many of the masterpieces of the renaissance era so you know we love florence third shade is archi torture which is one of my favorite shades favorite names archi torture is not a word it's a play on words of architecture i just you know threw in torture trying to be you know sinister the architecture of the renaissance era is uh, it's my favorite it's my favorite it's so just 
gothic and beautiful. I'm so in love with cathedrals and chapels and castles. Like, are you kidding me? I really can't believe we went from those beautiful ass buildings to this gentrified ass shit. Like, like what is going on? And then for the last shade in the row, we have Rebirth. And Rebirth is a warm coral with some gold shimmers. I, you probably can't see it from here, but it does have some shimmer in there. And it's such a pretty blush, you guys. It's such a pretty blush. It's such a pretty, like, crease color. Like, all of these browns, like, in the crease. But I love Rebirth for the cheeks. Since this palette is all matte, I wanted to give you guys just a hint of shimmer. Um, so it's such a beautiful blush. And Renaissance essentially means revival. We're in this constant endless cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. Whether that be physically or mentally, like emotionally, I feel like we're always like killing ourselves off and like being reborn again. And I truly feel like I'm in that era right now, especially because I'm turning 30 in like 23 days. Um, I'm actually excited, but we'll we'll get into that later. But I do feel like right now in society we are in this state of rebirth. Like we're no, you know, we are coming to the realization that like everything is fucked up, and it's really up to us to change the patterns of like how the fucking old ass people have like programmed us to be. But anyways, let's keep this light. Rebirth. It's truly one of the prettiest shades in the palette. Like, you just have to see it to believe it. I'm not even joking. So now we're getting into the contour shades with the last two rows. Let me tell you, the pressure was applied, okay? Not just as a brand, but as a makeup artist, as a black woman, just as a creative person in general, like, ugh, the weight. I really had to deliver with these contour shades, but then also have them fit the theme, okay? But, I think I understood the assignment, so let's get into it. First shade up is Sinister Chapel, which is a medium cool matte. It's a play on the Sistine Chapel, which was painted by Michelangelo, which is all over the back of this palette. So I basically took one of the most holiest, sacred places in the world and like made it sinister. We love to see it. Next shade is Morbid Lisa. Morbid Lisa is a medium neutral matte. I'm not flicking you off. I just, you know, want you guys to see the shade. It's like, <laughs> of course I changed Mona to Morbid because it applies, but also because I'm about to nerd out again with you guys. So it was said that the Mona Lisa was in mourning when she was painted by um, Leonardo da Vinci. And, but that's why it was like so mysterious because it's like, if she's in mourning, then why is she smiling, this crazy ass bitch? That's why she was like in dark clothing and you know, like the vibe was so like, woo, you know? No one really knows who she was or what was going on. Like who, who was this girl? But she revolutionized how portraits were painted. Like people didn't like the portrait. That's why it's called like, it's just like right here, you know? Like that was that bitch. And we live for her, we love her. She's like the OG, like that's, she's the OG, OG bad bitch. Like she invented the selfie. No, she didn't. I don't know why I said that. Next. Oh. Next up we have So Baroque, which is a medium warm matte. So Baroque is the architecture and music and style that really flourished in Europe during the Renaissance era. Like it truly is beautiful. Like just Google Baroque furniture, like you'll fall in love, honestly. So next up is Masterpiece, which is a deep warm matte. And it look like this. I love this shade. Masterpiece is a true burnt orange, you guys. It's uh, it's just so pretty. It's so beautiful. I love wearing this like all over. I usually use this when I'm done contouring and just to like blend everything together. Like it's uh, it's such a dream. It's so beautiful. It just blends everything together into a masterpiece. Do you? Also, if you are a deeper complexion, this makes such a beautiful blush. Like, ah! I would love to see it. Like, uh, send it to me. This shade was so necessary. Like, this is the true fall shade. Like, uh, it's so, it's just that pumpkin spice fall. Like, but you could wear it like every day. Like, it's just, uh, it's everything. Like, even this all blown out on the lid with just like some eyeliner. 
This last row is honestly, it's so powerful. It's so superior. Like, let's fucking swatch, bitch. First up is Sculpture, which is a very deep, warm matte. So you guys can see yeah there she is i feel like that's very self-explanatory but when i use it i literally sculpt out and like carve the cheeks you know what i mean like period next is chiseled which is a deep neutral matte and she looks like this such a bad bitch like such a bad bitch Ooh! oh i should have did that for all of them why didn't i do that this is sculptured and this is chiseled so chiseled is She's a bad bitch. All of these powders don't need a heavy dipping at all. So if you're heavy handed, just, you know, just take it back a little bit, relax. You literally only need like maybe like two dips, especially for the contour shades. And I love the names for these two shades because our faces are literally a canvas, a three dimensional, beautiful and unique canvas. And contouring is literally sculpting the face, like literally. Like makeup is literally art. Hello, makeup artist. Like what what are the people not getting? So if you are deeper complected, these are literally I made these just for you. But I know someone like me who's like in between, I'm more of like a medium deep. I love chiseled Leave me alone. I love to use chisel to just go in and define my cheekbone. Like I, I don't care. Like I love to contour and I love to highlight. I know like the alternative, whatever, like we're, you know, we look dead, we look washed out. We look, you know, vampire, zombie, whatever. A bitch like me loves to contour. I love a glow. Even when I do want to look like that, I still am gonna contour, I just am, I don't know, I don't know. But also too, like for the eye to like go in and like sculpt and chisel the eye is like, ah, love it. I carefully chose these shades because we need these shades. Deeper skin girls need these shades and we need something that's gonna work with us and not against us. We need shades that are not gonna make us ashy as fuck. I'm so tired of using shades like nutmeg and espresso and coffee and chocolate number four like bitch am i a snack is this starbucks like i it doesn't just it just doesn't do anything for me and not only that they don't work for my skin tone or really anybody's skin tone it's so rare to find i i guess i don't know not in just like the black community but just like alternative in general like uh, <laughs> Actually, what am I saying? I am a snack, but you guys know what I'm saying. Even if none of these are your shade, if you are lighter conflicted, I would suggest using Picasso. I've seen a lot of people use Picasso, actually. One person being so emo, Julia. Ah, oh, I love her, she's everything. You guys gotta follow her on TikTok. She's just like, uh, the looks that she creates is like, they're out of this world. But um, she will contour with Picasso and then I think she will might go into like Sinister Chapel to like deepen it up. So, you know, you're gonna find your shade. Anyway, let's go into Van Gogh. I got a little carried away. Sorry. Van Gogh is a deep, cool matte. So if you're very, very dark complicted, this is the shade for you when i was a makeup artist i would literally have to what did i do i would have to double highlight and literally mix black with like a brown to get this type of like color so i put this color in here so there's no more mixing there's no more mixing i made a shade just for you also this and i want to say picasso if you mix them together and if you want to create like a very gothic um just cool toned neutral contour because i've seen i've seen it done um this is also perfect for you as well just watch it on my hand for you guys um also van gogh like hello my mind oh and van gogh is like a household artist name like i'm pretty sure you all have heard of van gogh i'm pretty sure you guys have all seen the painting starry night he was also crazy he like cut off his ear because his like wife left him or some shit like that i don't know maybe he had like a pan attack or something i don't know it was some dark shit he was crazy, but iconic. And then for the last and final shade, we have Raphael, which is a very soft matte black. Watch it for you right here. Yeah, so that's Raphael, Van Gogh, 
chiseled and sculpture and this shade is dedicated to my prince of chaos my dark angel my beautiful firstborn child Raphael. I named Raphael after two things. Um, Raphael was an archangel in the Bible. He was the angel of healing and patience, which he's taught me a lot of because y'all already know how he is. But also after the famous Italian painter Raffaello, uh, also known as Raphael. Some of Raffaello's famous paintings were the deposition and Ezekiel's vision. But anyway, Raph just fit this collection so well because I always like look at him and be like, you're not from this century. Like, what do you know? Like, it's just so crazy that I love this era so much that I named my cat after a painter of this, of this era. And now he's on the cover. I think that's psychotic <laughs> okay you guys so that is it for the palette I hope you guys are just as excited now that you know what it took and you see the names and the swatches i don't even know how i was like doing my makeup without this like i really went back and forth putting some shimmer shades or even just like a little highlight shade in this palette but i was like wait a minute i'll just make some diamonds so we have four brand new glitter diamonds okay so we have to start off with bloody mary it's my favorite you guys know I love a red. So this glitter has some chunky and fine red flakes, also some black in there. And it's just so pretty and dark and just so different from any red that I've done so far. And the inspiration from this diamond is the Virgin Mary, but bathed in blood of her son, Jesus Christ, his sins. It's getting dark. <laughs> and also, of course, the Queen Bloody Mary her crazy ass she was burning people at the stake i'll talk more about her when i use this diamond but you guys gotta look her up she was like basha crazy next up is donatello the name alone is just so fitting and so iconic this is a holographic dark silver almost like a pewter Ooh, you hear that pewter silver i really wanted this diamond to capture like the essence of donatello he was an italian sculptor and he used marble and bronze and wood in his sculptures so i really wanted to like Put all of that in a diamond like i really feel like this is like such a good mix of like some of the work that he's done i'm very 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 proud of this and it's also stunning it's such a stunning like if you want to do silver but you also want to do black it's just it's so pretty it's such like a beautiful color up next is monarch which i have on my lids today love this color this is like the color of the dark renaissance such a stunning chunky yellow gold shade like oh I'm, I'm obsessed with this shade i wanted to embody not only the monarch butterfly which symbolizes rebirth but also the literal term monarch and monarch means like sovereign ruler queen emperor queen shit okay this is a rich bitch diamond and the last diamond is aphrodite which is a stunning chunky white and golden it's got some blues it's got some pink and corals in there this glitter is the goddess of love and fertility okay and yes aphrodite was a greek goddess not in the renaissance era but she was in one of the most famous renaissance paintings of all time called the birth of venus i'll pop it up right here y'all have seen this painting before if you haven't i really am questioning your taste um, I'm just kidding. Um, but no, this is it it was an iconic painting. Speaking of birth of Venus, let's get into these lip shades. Okay, so let's get into the three lipstick shades of the dark renaissance. Let's start off with Death of Venus, since we were just talking about Birth of Venus, which is a nude pinky shade. So pretty. Oh, so pretty. Birth of Venus was painted by Sandra. Botticelli I might have butchered the name but it's something like that I just I uh, I just love the painting so much and I'm like how could I like got this up somehow so did death of Venus even though Instagram won't let me tag it Instagram be like not you not you you cannot be naming these fucking these things these names but you know I'm gonna do it anyway so this is her right here you guys know I'm not like a pinky nudie person but when i pair this with like oblivion ah, iconic or just putting this in the center of anything it just creates such a perfect power love this shade second shade is blood chapel y'all know i live for a blood moment and this with bloody mary i am like obsessed with like i cannot stop wearing those two together and blood chapel is like a rusty deep red 
it is the perfect red for fall it's not like deep deep dark like vixen red but it's just oh it's everything it's so beautiful here can you see there she is and if you follow me on instagram you know i've been wearing the shade so fucking much i'm so obsessed with blood chapel <laughs> i'm so obsessed with blood chapel and i love this red because it's like this unholy vintage vibe unlike blood rose like blood rose is like you know blood rose i'll like wear this and then wear blood rose like in the center and it's, oh, it's so beautiful I love this shape. And last but not least, we have Goth Majesty, which I'm wearing right now. Favorite shade out of, I'm lying, they're all my favorite. Everything is my favorite, but I will say this has been like my go-to shade. And Goth Majesty is a true rich brown shade. When I was trying to find a name for this shade, I was thinking about like when people ask me what my pronouns are, which I get asked all the time. I make a joke about it and I'm always just like, your majesty. So I decided to do goth majesty, you know, for the, for the vibe. Because this collection has all these different shades of like brown, I really wanted to create a rich brown that had some like, just some regalness to it. I really just wanted this entire collection to show how versatile and rich and just beautiful the shade brown is anyways this is goth majesty she's a rich dark brown with an ox blood undertone yes ox blood undertone you'll never see it anywhere um and she's majestic as fuck okay guys that is it for the entire collection the palette itself retails for $50. I promise you, you are getting your money's worth. Each glitter is $10 and the lipstick shades are $18 each. And you can get the entire bundle for just $100. The bundle keeps selling out, so I'll, I'm just gonna keep restocking it until I officially run out of everything. If you see that the bundle is sold out, please keep going back to the website. I'm working on it, trust me. So many fucking things have been happening. Like I have my own space now where I can like work. I'm not like working out of here anymore. So just bear with me. But we should have some in stock when this video comes up. I mean, unless you're watching in the future, then I don't know what to tell you. And then you also get a Morbid Lisa portrait um, with every purchase um, with me and Raphael. I got lots of requests to make this uh, as the, um, What's it called? Postcard. I just said it. Oh my god, the ADHD today. Um, so you get one of these, just let me know. I also get a lot of requests uh, for me to sign them. So just leave a little note if you want me to sign it and then my assistant will tell me and then I uh, will sign it for you. Um, I hope that doesn't sound. I just, I want to say it on here because I it happens and I always feel bad when like, you know. But yeah, that is the dark renaissance. Thank you guys so much for loving and supporting and the patience and just keeping me alive that I can create beautiful makeup for us, okay? Cause you know, we here. And look, I know we're in like the weirdest fucking time of our existence right now. And I just hope that my dark and deathly, weird, morbid, fucking clown ass can just make it just a little bit better for you. And I really hope that you guys are just finding little moments every day to just be happy and be grateful because let me tell you no matter what shit's always gonna feel you're always gonna feel like you're not where you're supposed to be or like you're gonna you're gonna find something to be unhappy about or you're gonna find something to complain about no matter what you can get everything you want and you'll still find something that's just how life is and it's 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 not right but it is what it is so just find little moments every day at least once a day at least once it may not be when you first wake up and it may not be you know when you go to sleep but somewhere in between find some gratitude i promise you it'll change your life we are not going to be in this weird ass shit forever okay it's it's history it's a proven fact that after the plague comes the renaissance oh my god that was so corny or was it poetry was it iconic y'all let me know love you guys so much don't forget to like comment share and subscribe please send me pictures and photos and videos um, of you in the palette. I would love to see it. I can't wait to show you guys um, what I have planned next. I fucking love you. Stay glam and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!